Joining me now, the A-Team Republican strategist, former congressional candidate Angela McGlowan, former special assistant to President George W. Bush, Ron Christie, Newsday columnist, Fox News contributor, Alice Hennigan. Uh, let me start with you, Angela. Yes. Day two, Obamacare, hardly a mention. Hardly a mention. He even used Trevor Smartin mm -hmm. to talk about that when he was announcing the head of the World Bank. Listen, the White House is running away from this like a cat running from scalding water, okay? They don't want to stand for this because the <laughs> referendum for 2010 midterm elections was Obama health care, repeal health care. Alice, you don't look like you entirely buy Angela's. Well, view. I'm just I'm just looking forward to the Romney campaign and their arguments on that subject. I think that's gonna be a that's gonna be a really interesting conversation. Won't but it? until then Well, <laughs> listen, I mean it's not the most popular thing, but but if you if you present it right, right? I mean the pre existing conditions gone, ceilings on lifetime maximums gone, kids out of college who still need health insurance. Do you want me to go yeah. start now? Three hundred and ninety yeah. billion dollars that's gonna increase yeah. in government yeah. spend. 1,700 new regulations like it, for HHS, 159 well, boards overseeing the, this health care. The, the, the only thing I have to say is, is, is uh, Vice President Joe Biden said this was a big blanking deal. Well, two years later, we were told that, in fact, the Obama... Well, he was right about that, I have yeah, to say. Well, <laughs> But again, this is this is polite television. He said that, oh, we're going to lower the cost of an average family by $2,500. Well, actually, they've gone up $2,200. Oh, we're going to expand coverage. People have been dropped left and right. For the signature achievement of this administration on the second anniversary, when he was in the Rose Garden of the White House, where they talk about very serious matters, his absence and his silence was deafening. And to have the Supreme Court, to have the Supreme Court weigh in on it next week, and to have the national... Let me, let me, let, I'm sorry. Go okay. ahead. I didn't mean well, to. Did you, well, to have the National uh, Federation of Independent Businesses going against us saying that Obamacare is having us, you know, Cadillac cost health care on Kia budgets. Yeah. It's going to cost people to, to fire people. That's right. Well, Rick Santorum, was he misquoted? Uh, do you think he's, his remarks have been taken out of context? Have they been distorted when he said effectively, uh, that Obama might be preferable to 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 Romney in the views of the minds of some. At least. You know, he, go ahead. Often when politicians say they misquoted, that means they were quoted. Quoted crop, you properly. Know, yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, it was Are it, you thinking of Debbie Wasserman Schultz? No. I, I, <laughs> and what, is, what, is, what is a gaffe if not a politician saying the the truth? Here's the real problem with it. I mean, listen, uh, clearly. The, the health plan does still lack huge national support. On the other hand, Mitt Romney can't make that argument. I mean, he truly I'm is sorry, the father we're talking Santorum, about Rick Santorum. But for Rick Santorum yeah. to well, say... Did we lose something there? He's, he's comparing the Obama and Mitt Romney because of Romney Care. And Same basically, thing. Romney Care was the, the uh, catalyst for Obamacare. Was he misquoted, Lou? No, no he was, he was not misquoted. He so said that... Is he done? Oh, he, he's done. Look, he's you know, done. but not it's, because it's, of that. No, not because of that. But you know, it's, okay. It's, I mean, that's what I'm really asking. Was that enough to end his? Well, it's, with conservatives. It's, it's, it's yeah. With conservatives, look. Whether you like Governor Romney or not, the consensus in the Republican establishment is we need a nominee. Romney's got the delegate math. He's going to be the nominee. So get in line. And Santorum and Gingrich are hurting themselves with every day that they stay in this race. They're hurting themselves in the future. After Rick Santorum lost Illinois, you had red states say that we don't want a divided party. We don't want a broker convention. And that Mitt Romney is going to be our nominee. You had Freedom Works. That's the big tea party to say that we need to support our front runner so Obama will not be no. back in but, And we should point out Freedom Works, which is uh, led by Dick Army yes. and, and, Matt and Matt Gibby. Very yeah. concerned. Uh, and, and yet, it, the Lu my cousins in Louisiana tomorrow seem likely to go strongly for Rick Santorum. I mean, there's mm -hmm. clearly a lot of people out there who, while I think you both are absolutely right on the map. I would think your cousins would be just <laughs> salivating, waiting for the opportunity to vote for President Obama. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I am out you of my shot. You haven't met my cousins. <laughs> Let me just say that. <laughs> I got so, some so, etiquette yeah. to introduce oh, you to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I take it you're something of an outcast in yes. your family. I live in New York. Uh, you know? yeah. <laughs> there's a reason for that. 47% of the Tea Party in Illinois supported Mitt Romney. The party is now moving towards supporting the front runner. Uh, Santorum and New Gingrich, they cannot get the delegates to win the nomination. The, the Obamacare uh, hearings begin Monday before the Supreme Court. Uh, Ron, do you see, do you notice a certain rationalization being built in the national media uh, saying expect them to uphold it? They're trying to build, throw every argument there is 
impossible to uphold this law. Uh, it, it is... Well, it's been a joy to watch, Lou. I mean, you're hearing, this is 70 years of precedent. Commerce power under the Congress. They have the ability to regulate interstate commerce, and this is a proper exercise. The true farce of this matter, of course, is the Obama folks were originally saying commerce power. Now they're saying, oh, no, we're arguing in court that it's the tax power that the Congress has. So they can't even get their briefs right of what uh -huh. they believe the power that the Congress has or doesn't have about the legality of this. One last final question I have directed to you, Alice. Uh, I don't know if you saw the, the little chalk talk I did going through some of the facts that are extant with our energy reserves. Mm -hmm. We're the wealthiest nation on earth. Why is it that none of that seems to ever spill from the lips of this president or any of the administration when they talk about this vast, wealthy, wonderful nation of ours? Well, listen, what you're getting from the administration is the all of the above plan, right? Support, support, whatever it is, we're in favor of it. It doesn't make political sense. Then why did, why did permits for drilling on federal lands drop? I, I'm... They left no, out part just, of the above. That's just that's not all of the above. Lands. Oh, okay. They're no, their yeah. domestic Alice, production has never is been Alice, bigger. Alice is still <laughs> going. Yeah. We're leaving. Yeah. <laughs>